Howdy everyone. Here's our news to you lesson for the week. Um, and it's on the video game Hall of Fame. How cool is that? Do you like video games? I sure like to play some video games. I especially love those Mario Karts and Super Mario on the Wii. I really love that game. Anyways, this is called Video Game Hall of Fame, and that's our newspaper article for the week. So let's get into it. But first, boys and girls, what do we need to do? We need to review our rules. So the five rules for our video time sessions are rule number one, my mouth is quiet. So you keep your mouth quiet. Whoops, where did our rules go? There they are. Rule number two, our eyes are looking. Your eyes are always looking at the computer because Miss Amy is on the computer. So you keep your eyes on Miss Amy on the computer, okay? Eyes are looking. Rule number three, your hands and your feet are to yourself and your bodies are still, right? My hands and feet are to myself, my body is still. Rule number four, ears are listening. Use those ears to listen because Miss Amy is always saying some very interesting things, okay? And rule number five, if you have a question or you have, you need help, raise your hand. Remember, yep. Okay, now that we have our rules out of the way, let's talk about the Video Game Hall of Fame. Okay, follow with me, let's see. Maybe I should, maybe I'll zoom this in just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. There we go. There, can you see that a little bit better? Oops. There we go. Okay. The World Video Game Hall of Fame honors video games. The Hall of Fame is in Rochester, New York. Well, that's cool. Rochester, you New York. Have has anybody been to New York before? Miss Amy has been, but never to Rochester. Video games include arcade games, computer games, console games, and much, much more. So much more. The Hall of Fame adds video games each year. So every year they add video games to this Hall of Fame. I've had so many video games in there. I can't even imagine how many video games are there. The Hall of Fame will add video games on May 6th. Oh my gosh, boys and girls. That's in three days. Does that, that's Thursday. Thursday? Yep, that's Thursday. Just taking a look at my calendar over here. That's Thursday. The video games will be added in a ceremony. So there's gonna be a ceremony. People can watch the ceremony online. If you wanna watch it, you could uh, go check it out. Go see what Rochester, New York looks like online, huh? People can visit the Hall of Fame. They learn about video games. Would you like to visit the Hall of Fame? I think it'd be kind of cool. I mean, I'm not really super into video games, but that would be kind of cool to see what video games are there, probably. Yeah. Okie dokie. This is our Hall of Fame hash browns. And... Uh, oh, sorry. This is our recipe for the week. Our Hall of, Hall of Fame hash browns. They look pretty good. Let's we'll see. I don't have any of this stuff at my house, so I doubt I'll be making it for you. It'd be kind of fun to do, though. It's in a slow cooker, so it's going to take a while to cook them. But let's see. We need a 32-ounce bag of frozen hash brown potatoes. We need half a cup of chopped onion. We need a 10.75 ounce can of cheddar cheese soup. We need one cup of milk. We need a slow cooker sprayed with cooking spray, a medium bowl, and a spoon. Hmm. I wonder what the recipe steps are. Let's go find out what the steps are to making this recipe. All right, so you put the hash browns and onion into the slow cooker. So hash browns in, onions in, slow cooker. The soup 
and milk into the bowl and stir it up. You're gonna mix that soup and get that cheddar cheese soup all stirred up. Mm, that sounds really yummy. Do you like cheddar cheese soup? Have you ever had it? You usually don't eat it like a soup. You put it in things like we're doing with this recipe. The cheddar cheese soup, you do that with like cream of goo, um, or cream of chicken, things like that. Pour soup mixture into the slow cooker with our hash browns and our onions and put the lid on the slow cooker. And then we cook it on high for an hour and 30 minutes. That's a long time. I don't know if I can wait that long to eat my hash browns. And we're gonna stir it occasionally. I wouldn't stir too very too often because I want to keep the heat in the slow cooker. But wow, that looks delicious. Hmm. See what's next. Whoa, now we cook it for on low again for two hours and 30 minutes. So this is gonna take quite a bit of cooking time for us to make. If this is hash browns for breakfast, we'd have to get up super early to make this, huh? Probably we'll have to make it the night before and reheat it if we're gonna have it for breakfast. Okay, so anyway, step seven, cook on low for two hours and 30 minutes. Then you're gonna continue to stir occasionally. Then you're gonna cool it slightly, and my favorite part, eat it. Mm -mm -mm. Eat that hash brown. That sounds really yummy. We'll have to try it. Yeah. Sausage, oh, that sounds good. For breakfast, mm. maybe an egg. Do you like eggs? Who likes eggs? Because Amy likes eggs. Mm -hmm. She has an egg on her avocado toast every morning. That avocado toast, it makes me happy. Oh, I have a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Year. Year who? Your favorite game may be added to the Hall of Fame. Uh, get it? Year instead of your silly News to you jokes are silly. Usually the second one's better. Let's see what the second one has in store for us. All right. Maybe if it's gonna load, holy moly. All right, you wanna hear this other joke? Why should pigs not play soccer? I don't know. They hog the ball. <laughs> The second joke is usually better. That one's better. They hog the ball. Get it? I got it. Okay, now we're going to have our discussion questions that accompany our newspaper article. So get your thinking caps on because we are going to discuss what we just read, okay? I'm going to get my pen ready. Let's use the color, hmm, let's use the color orange today. Looks like it's a highlighter, but that's okay. We're going to use it anyway. Okay, so we're going to choose the pictures about the video game Hall of Fame. Okay, so we have video games, ceremony, storm, fly a kite, honor, and add. So several of these are a part of the story, but they're not all about it. Okay, so let's see. Video games is definitely one, right? The video games. So video games is one. And ceremony. Did we talk about having a ceremony? We sure did because we're going to add the video games in with a ceremony. So they have a ceremony to add the video games into the Hall of Fame. Now let's talk about this storm here. Is there a storm in our, in our newspaper, our, ugh, newspaper article today? Nope. A storm is not part of it. Nope. And what about fly a kite? Is flying a kite part of our story? Nope. Flying a kite is not part of our story. What about honor? Honor. We are definitely circling this because on add, where it's definitely part of this because we're adding, whoa, not my best work, is it? What do we do? We're gonna fix it, okay? So, adding games to the Hall of Fame. So, there we go. All right, perfect. Good job, boys and girls. You're sticking with me. All right, now 
let's answer some questions. So what is the paper about? Video Game Hall of Fame, Tulip Time Festival, or Removing Trash from Space? Hmm, it's about the Video Game Hall of Fame. Video Game Hall of Fame. And who can visit the Hall of Fame? Fairies, gnomes, or people? Fairies, gnomes, or people? Well, people visit the holiday, the holiday, the Hall of Fame. People visit. And where is the Hall of Fame? Is it in Little Rock, Arkansas, Rochester, New York, or Tacoma, Washington? Do you remember? It was in Rochester, New York. Yes, Rochester, New York. All right, let's go see what's the last page, or the next page. It's not quite the last. What is your favorite kind of game? A video game, a card game, a board game, an outdoor game, or something else? Hmm, Miss Amy's favorite kind of game is a board game. And specifically, my favorite board game is called Catan. It's very fun. Or I just really like Monopoly too. Or Life, that's a good one too. I like board games. I do like card games. That would be my runner up, card game or a board game. What do you like? Do you like board games too? Wish we could play board games together, huh? All right, these are going to be our words for the week from our story, okay? Right, so our words for the week are honor, honor, and video games. Honor and video games. Can you say them with me? Ready? Honor, video games. Perfect. Well, all right, boys and girls, that's our news to you lesson for the week. Please let me know if you make that recipe. I would love to stop by and eat some with you. <laughs> I wish, right? Maybe next year. All right. We'll talk to you again soon. Enjoy.